think the biggest difference between this one and the Calicot Briani is that this one doesn't have a coconut mint chutney that makes it creamier. That's the biggest difference. And in terms of like aroma, this one's less aromatic, the other one's a little more strong. Lighter spice here, really good. Mm. Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in beautiful Tennessee, North Kerala, India. Today I'm super excited because I'm gonna show you what this city's all about. If you guys don't know, this is one of the most important trading centers in Kerala for the Europeans during the spice trade. Today we're gonna start off right here at the 17th century fort that was built by the French. After this, we're gonna go eat some world famous Tennessee biryani. I'm super excited for that. Then we're gonna try some more snacks, explore more of the city. Are you guys ready? Let's explore Teleseri. This is Teleseri Fort. There are so many forts in Kerala. Teleseri has a fort, Kannur has a fort, even Kasagod has a fort, Kochi has a fort, Trivandrum has a fort. But we are going to explore this fort and we are going to try some food. And Kannur is famous for Teleseri biryani. Even Kannur biryani is also famous. So you already had Kodikot biryani, but today you are going to enjoy Teleseri biryani. Now, now, right now. So Teleseri Fort was built by the French, 17th century, but later the British occupied it and they reinforced it. You can see it's a European fort, really massive walls, 10 meter walls right there, that's like 30 plus feet. From here we get incredible views over the Arabian Sea, also over Teleseri, and inside these are like cottages. This is where like the military used to live when they lived here, when they occupied the area. We made it here to the highest part of the fortress, and as you can see, we have a lighthouse. Over here we have a school a church, another church in the Arabian Sea. The only thing I have to tell you about this place is that it's extremely hot. It's right now like 3.40 in the afternoon. The humidity is hitting me hard. It's easily about 100 degrees. Is this one of the hottest places? No. No? Not. Is that one of the hottest places? No. But Feels like it's, it. It's this time as well as it's humid, so humid now. Uh, maybe there are other places which are hotter than this. Malabar is the northern region of Kerala which includes a portion of Palakkad, Malab uh, Malapuram, Korikot, Kasagod, Kannur, and why not? So while I was talking to uh, Mark, I just mentioned only four places. I'm so sorry I missed out the other places. One thing that's very unique to this fortress, which I've never seen before, is that it has secret tunnels that will lead to the sea. And this is it right here. This is one of the entry points. Whoa. Walking the walls. And there's Tenesedi. Woo! Beautiful. Small town, three story, four story buildings, lots of traffic. This is India, always. As you can see over here, tons of trees, short buildings, and the walls. The walls are just massive, beautiful structure. All right, dude, are you ready for biryani? I think it's time. Paris restaurant, right? Oh, the walls are pretty epic. Huge walls. Great views from up there. Hey, if you're looking to do like Instagram photos, right along the wall or in the main part where the entrance is, that's the best spot. Whew. Can't wait to eat some more biryani. It's gonna be amazing. Super excited. It's one of my favorite things about India, biryani. Biryani, biryani all day. So Teleseli is basically a small town that is in the middle of Kolikot and Kanor. Obviously it's famous for its fort, but also for the biryani. And you can see it's, it's a very small town. One main street, a few other side streets, lots of commercial space, lots of people. You have markets, you have tuk-tuks, motorcycles. I mean, you know, this is India. Similar thing everywhere, but always a little different, a little more twist, flavors are different, and language is always different as well. This is it, Paris restaurant. Home of the Teleseri Briani. So we came into the kitchen to see how they do the biryani. You know, it's already cooked, we're just gonna open it. Where is it? This one. Oh man. Ghee rice? The best. And we're about to open the dumb chicken biryani. Let's do it. Woo! So it has banana leaves on top. Wow. Oh my god, look at that. With the rice, the color. It smells so good, the aroma just hits you. Oh! So he just put fried onions, now he's putting, what is this, coriander? 
So the way it works is that he takes off the rice, right? So you move the rice into another container, another big pot, and then in the bottom, you're gonna have the chicken. So the chicken's gonna always stay at the bottom, the rice is gonna be moved over, and then when they serve it, they're gonna serve the chicken on the plate and the rice on top of that. Wow, look at that mountain. David, this is one of the best places where you can try Talasheri Biryani. This is Talasheri Chicken Biryani. Either you should go for a wedding ceremony or you should come to Vajil Paris. Anyway, we are going for a wedding tomorrow. That's different. That's not in Talasheri. And this is single biryani. That means smaller portion. If you need full, uh, we can have a bigger portion of biryani. But let's have this because we will try something else after this. This one is coconut chutney and here is pickle, mango pickle. Some places they serve lemon pickle, but here it's mango pickle. Last time when I came here, that time also it was mango. And this is salad with yogurt. There is onions, curry leaves, cucumber, and green chili. Delaceri biryani. This is how we're gonna start, right? I'm gonna go in, grab a tiny bit of chicken with some rice. Let's try it. Mm. Oh. Oh, it's so good. Another onion. It's actually very light on the spices, not too hot either. Love the grains, small grain rice, the best. So now we'll grab some coconut, just try the chutney alone. That's basically like the coconut, tender coconut, turned into a chutney. Amazing. So I'm gonna grab some, mix in here a little bit. Mm. Mm. The, gives it a nice little crunch. It's very tropical. Dude, this is amazing. This is so good. It, it really changes it. It makes it more like a, it's a more tropical taste. That's exactly what it is. Mm. Uh, it blends really well with the grains. Wow, and look here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so let me show you what you do with this. Pick it up, it's straight. Mm. Just fall off the bone. So good. Wow. And the biggest difference between this one and the Calicot Biryani is that this one doesn't have a coconut mint chutney that makes it creamier. That's the biggest difference. And in terms of like aroma, this one's less aromatic, the other one's a little more strong. Lighter spice here. Really good. Mm. Oh. So this is how you try the mango pickle. Put your entire finger like that. Mm. It's strong, but if you like mango, you will like this a lot. So how do I do it? Just grab some and put it in. So just like this, mix it. Mm -hmm. The main thing here between the Polycarp Briani and the Tereceda Briani is they both have short grain rice. Mm, it's got a mix, mix. I love the raisins here, gives it a nice fruity taste. Also the crunchiness of the, car of the caramelized onion. Like that, now grab a little more of that. Get a nice little ball. Mm, mm. I have to mix these two. portion is pretty big. This is another amazing, amazing biryani. Say, in the same day, I had two of the best biryanis on the planet. Mm. Now let's try the salad. So you got some onions, cucumber. I love using my hands. You can really taste the food with this. When you use utensils, you don't taste the food the same. It's like a nice curd salad. A little crunchy with the onion. Yeah, this is fire. This is what you have to do. I love coconut, I love mango. I'm gonna unite them, marry them together, and then spread throughout. Everything, just mix, mix. The key here is to blend it all well. 
when you see them making biryani, you see how they mix everything together. That's exactly what you need to do. And they mix all the flavors. That's how they all come out, right? Mmm. Oh yeah. The pickle. Lost the coconut. Briani was in Kerala. Now I know, now you know. When you come to Kerala, especially northern Kerala, we should try Malabar Briani. That is one of the best dishes that we should try in Kerala. But Kerala has different varieties of food. It includes biryani, meals, paratha, many things. But when it comes to biryani, Malabar Briani. Let's try only the biryani rice plus chicken and a bit of masala. What I love most about this biryani, so soft, smooth, juicy, and that aroma, beautiful aroma, it's the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You enjoyed biryani? I loved it. Then let's have some fruit juice. Fruit juice? Something very special from this area. Awesome, fruit juice. Not juice, shakes. Milkshake. Fruit shake. David, Hi. pleasure. Nice to meet you. Ali. Pleasure. Not juice, cocktail. Okay, time to try it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Dry fruits? Nuts? Dry fruits, nuts, papaya, carrots, mm. milk, pomegranate on top, mm. Mm. banana. It's like between a smoothie and a slushy. Yeah. yeah. Because fruits we can chew in between mm -hmm. and again we can uh, drink that smoothie. Yeah. And it's like a, in the middle, so it's like frozen ice, basically. That's frozen milk. Frozen milk? Yeah. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh man, it's delicious. So refreshing for this heat. It's so hot right now, we need this, man. <laughs> and again, if you walk through this way, we can reach the pier. Okay. If you need, you can go. Otherwise, we can continue to another place. This is less than one dollar, 60 rupees. You leave it here for like one minute and it completely melts. And it's like the most delicious banana papaya combination ever. Crunchy with the nuts. Mm. Oh, man. That milkshake was phenomenal. So creamy, love it. Slushy slash milkshake slash nutty, fruity. And where are we going next? You are not the citizen of this place, so you cannot shoot me. <laughs> permission, I know. No permission? No permission. Ah, no permission. It's oh, citizen come on. Okay. There are a few snacks here if you want to try. There are many places you can try snacks in Tala City. There are different, different places. As you can see, dozens of different snacks. This one looks like a mix between like super thin french fries with some like masala, curry leaves. Over here we have another like banana fry. This one looks like more like a, a rice cakey thing. More cakes, cakes, and then over here we have, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's like a hot milk. What is this? That's hot milk with semolina. Semolina. Okay. Okay. And do you like to have chicken legs, fried chicken legs? What? Yeah. Okay. This one. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was like french fries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we call it as here they call it as fried chicken legs. Kori kale, kori kale, they say. That means fried chicken legs. Okay, so let's try the chicken feet. It's not really chicken feet, guys. So this is like uh, potatoes. So they're cut up really, really thin. Then they turn it into like this masala slash. Yeah, it's a curry leaf, and they mash it together. Let's try it. Oh my god. I'm gonna put a tooth. Really hard. Mm. It's like papitas, fritas, Cuban style, super tiny, thin, crunchy. Here's onion here. 
It's like a, a big pack of, of french fries in one bite. It's good, but it's hard to chew. Hot milk with semolina, which is basically like gelatin balls. This is like very similar to a lassi, except it's hot and it's more watered down. Like more, it's less of like the thick lassi, right? You know, the only thing for me I don't get is how I'm drinking this in this heat. It's hot, and I'm getting hotter now. I'll try another bite of this thing. I'll give up on that. Milk, semolina, also noodles, plus a bit of salt, plenty of kismis, otherwise raisins. Yeah, good. I haven't drank the whole thing yet, but most things he mentioned are in the very bottom. The raisins, also the noodles, I really haven't had any. Mm. So super hot. It's good. It's like a super thick milk. Mmm. Actually, let's, I'm gonna finish let's it. Finish, let's finish together. Let's finish together. Cheers. Mm. It's too clumpy in there. Don't put it together because it's hot too. It's hot? Really a lot of things going down your throat. <laughs> mm. Wow. Thumbs up. We made it here to Destiny Pier. Super long concrete pier. Over here you can see the sea breaking on the rocks. Density. And over here to the very end, you have the beach. It's beautiful. They actually used to have trading going on here. Now it's just people here relaxing, watching the sunset. I think we're good. I think we're going to Canor now. You guys ready? That was like the most medieval thing I ever seen in India. The guy sharpening a knife with like this machine yeah, yeah, yeah. with a wheel. So he has like the bike. He basically converted a bike into a sharpening device. <laughs> we are on our way to Kanur, but on the way we are going to stop by a driving beach. It's a long beach. It's famous here, Muripalangad Beach. Can you pronounce it? Muripalangad. Can you try? Muliparanar. <laughs> Muliparanar. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Muliparanar? No. Murupilangad. 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 <laughs> no, wait. sorry. You don't have to. You don't have to. You just say beach. Driving beach in Kanu. <laughs> So we made it here to the street to get to the beach and it's actually a railway crossing. I'm gonna get really up close to the train right now. Everybody's super friendly. That train was insane. I mean, it passed by so fast, and the other one behind it was like a double train. Oh, here you are. Evan Jetta. Huh? <laughs> it was a double train. It was oh, both. Okay. Both sides. Really intense. Ah. Like fast. Good. Speed train? We can drive on the beach, but you should not go inside the water. Yeah? Yeah. Well, that's cool. I didn't know that. So it's driving beach. Wow. Speed limit 20 kilometers. 20 kilometers? <laughs> I was gonna say that's fast. No, no, it's actually not that fast. Yeah. Wow. First time I drive onto a beach in my life. Okay. I've never been to a beach like this. Look at this. Drive onto the beach. We just missed the sunset, but this is awesome. So, guys, you good? Beautiful beach. Lots of families here. Friends hanging out. People just driving. Wow. Amazing. That was truly amazing. You enjoyed it? Yeah. Let's have a drive till the end of this beach, that side, and then we'll go back. 
The reason why you can drive on this beach is because the sand is super packed, it's dense, and the beach is wide. You can either go in the water, go to some of these vendors that are selling like, I don't even, I think there's like snow cones, and then you can go over here and play soccer. Some other people are just enjoying the sunset, it's very relaxing. You know, I've never been to a beach where you could drive on, so I definitely think it's a must. It's my first time. When you come here, it'll be your first time. Let's go. So we're about 20 minutes from Kenor. We're staying there for the next two nights, but we're staying at this place called the Seashell Harris Beach Homes. It's a coastal resort and it looks amazing. And you said you stayed there a few times, right? Yeah, three to four times. Yeah, four times. Yeah, it's really good. Really good. One time with Mark Beans when he visited Kerala, uh, twice with my family, and once with my friends. David, pleasure, Hi, nice David. to meet you. Hello, David. Hey, pleasure, nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you. I'm super happy to be here. Yes, yeah, okay. Super thank happy. You. We will be waiting for you. Thank you, thank you. So this is actually an extension of the property. The main block is over there, but it's really packed tonight. Sold out. This is where we're staying tonight. Awesome, that's my room? I love it, man. I love it. Hey, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. And right here? You're right in front of the beach like you have. I mean, look at this. Just, just, <laughs> let's just be like, you just see the waves crashing. Amazing. Hey, thank you so much. You're How many welcome. rooms are there? We have like 12 rooms in total. 12 rooms total? And 6 rooms in our farm street. Okay, awesome. So 18 in total. Love it, man. This is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And that's it, guys. Our day is over. We had an incredible time in Tasseri. We saw the fort. We ate some Tasseri biryani. Very, very yummy. Really amazing food. After that, we had that like smoothie, that shake. Super delicious. Try some snacks. Uh, try that super hot milk. Uh, not my favorite the milk, but it was still pretty good. Then we saw the pier and then we went to a drive-in beach. Really amazing. I highly recommend going there. If you're doing this route, do what I just did. Come from Calicut, go there, see everything I did. I did it like in three, four hours time. And then we came here to this resort. I love it, this is my room for the next three nights. Super excited to stay here. Can't wait to explore Connor. If you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Kanur, Kerala, India. Peace.